78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Box community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, the current WBC middleweight champion of the world, Jamal Charlo, who will be facing uh, Jose Benavidez uh, <laughs> on the undercard of uh, David Benavidez versus uh, Demetrius Andrade. These guys had agreed to fight at a catch weight. Jam uh, Jamal Charlo has been inactive for a couple years, uh, has kept his title, uh, had suffered through some mental health issues, which is why the WBC, I guess, didn't want to strip him. Uh, so uh, he hasn't fought in a couple years. His first fight back, he's fighting Jose Benavidez, the, the, the smaller of the Benavidez brothers, okay? Now they agreed to fight at a catch weight of 163, given um, – Jamal some leeway to play with the weight to kind of, you know, get back into the swing of things and make a weight. He misses the catch weight. Um, and he comes in at 166. Uh, totally unprofessional. But not only that, um, when he misses the weight initially, they gave him time to go try to cut, get cut the pounds off. He comes back heavier than he initially was. Okay. So Jamal Charlo is really showing a lack of respect for not only for himself, but for, for boxing, for his opponent, uh, for his reputation. I don't know what's up with the Charlo brothers. I just don't. You know what I mean? Uh, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just not messing with these dudes. They just they, they move funny. Uh, Jamal, um, you know, I hear getting slapped up by people. Um, stuff he going through with his family and stuff. They bringing that stuff to the to, to, to social media. It's just it's, it's irresponsible and ridiculous. Okay. Um, hopefully, you know, he put up a good fight and we see what he does versus, um, Jose Benavidez. I mean, he's bigger than Benavidez. He should beat him. Uh, if he don't, then I don't know how, how he, he bounces back from that situation. I don't know who gives him an opportunity, who wants to see him again, because, you know, he was unapologetic about missing the weight from what I saw. I didn't see any interviews with Jamal saying, Hey, my bad, you know, had some mishaps and blah, blah, blah. Maybe he did do an interview. I just didn't see it. You know, I've been looking around. I didn't see none. Of them. The only interview I saw was him on stage. And um, after the weigh-in, um, because, it, you know, they had the early morning weigh-in, it was already reported that he had missed weight. So on the scale, or on the stage, the announcer for Showtime asked him about missing weight, and he just kind of blew the question off. So what? So what? We got to fight tomorrow. We fighting tomorrow. So, you know, whatever, bro. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know. So we'll see how Jamal Trello looks. I do want to see how the how the, the guy look tomorrow, and see um, how he's able to bounce back. But I saw an interview that kind of was disturbing to me. He was talking about fighting Canelo. Um, and it's just it's un unbelievable, bro. You ain't fought in two years. Um, you miss weight. You know, against Jose Benavidez Jr., you don't even know if you're gonna beat this guy, and you already talking about fighting Canelo. Like, bro, y'all just be trying to get Canelo money. I mean, I just, seriously. Like, what if you not gonna go in there and try to beat Canelo? You gonna do the same thing your brother did? Y'all gonna sit back and laugh and talk about y'all little paydays y'all made for fighting Canelo? It's pathetic. It's, it's really a waste of time, a waste of everybody's time uh, to see. Jamal uh, Charlo going out here like this, you know, but may the best man win. We'll see what happens, man. I don't know who's going to win between him and Benavidez, but I'm I'm picking Jam Jam Jamal to win because he's the bigger fighter. So I'm thinking he should win, but he ain't fought in a couple years, so ain't no telling what's going to happen. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Who y'all got? 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty ODBC. I'm a pot here, though. Deuces.